Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is my review of the Nokia 5.1 Plus, also known as Nokia X5 if you are buying from China. Before we begin, let me quickly show you my unboxing. This one is actually the Chinese variant and costs a lot less. I got it on Jumia Express and it delivered in 2 days. In the box, you have the device all wrapped in plastic. Let's take out the plastic. It's a really cute phone. Underneath that, you have an envelope that houses the SIM ejector tool that's enclosed in tape some user guide and specification manual all in Chinese only. Also tucked away in a separate compartment is your 5 volt 2 amp charger and a USB Type-C cable. On the front, you have a 5.89 inch HD Plus IPS LCD display with 720 by 1520 resolution, which makes it a 19 by 9 aspect ratio. On top of that display, you have a notch that houses an 8 megapixel camera and speaker. On the back, you have a 13 plus 5 megapixel camera with flash and a fingerprint sensor. On the left, you have a hybrid SIM tray that houses two 4G LTE Nano SIMs or one SIM and one SD card. On the right, you have your power button and volume rocker keys. On the top, you have a 3.5mm headphone jack and a microphone. On the bottom, you have a speaker, a USB Type-C port and a noise cancellation microphone. Setting it up was easy. First things first was to change the language to my preferred language and it's all about the usual steps from there. Now let's talk about design. You have a glass back and plastic frame. There's a curve to the glass on the front and the back that meets the plastic frame in between. This leaves no sharp corners. It looks and feels really really good in the hand and though there's no stated Gorilla Glass protection on this guy, I am considering never getting a case for it. The only thing that is tacky about the design is that Nokia branding on the chin. It is also very portable in the hand and relatively light. About the display, it's only a HD Plus display but it is not bad by any means and to be honest, I don't even know anyone who would knock a 720p display on the phone at this price. Colors are vivid, it is bright outdoors, it is responsive to the touch, it can get to extreme dim levels which is great for reading at night. Also, there is no screen bleeding on this guy. Now, if you are the type to stream 1080p videos on YouTube or elsewhere, this won't be able to do that. But I'm guessing most people on a budget don't have that type of data to burn anyway. Here's what the speaker sounds like. So this is the speaker test of the Nokia 5.1 Plus and here's what the speaker sounds like. The Nokia 5.1 Plus ships with Android 8.1 Oreo, but the Android 9 Pi update was sitting waiting for me and so I installed it after some days. It runs just as smooth as the Oreo and I haven't noticed any unique bugs. Now for those of you not familiar with Android 1, it usually gets support for at least 2 years which means that we are likely going to get the Android 10 update pushed and pretty early too. This comes in 32 gigs of storage with 3 gigs of RAM and there's also a 64 gig storage with 4 gigs of RAM. Other things worth noting about Android 1 is that some of your much loved screen record and scroll shot features are missing from its quick settings. You do however get night light which I leave on all the time. You also have an option to hide the notch for the notchophobic minority. You get double tap to wake. Ambient display features might actually come in handy for some. The face unlock is super 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 fast but sadly mostly fails when you're back in the light source or when it's dark. The fingerprint sensor is my go-to unlock method cause it is fast, reliable and hardly fails on this guy. About the camera, the entire interface was alien to me but I soon found out that there are a ton of features in here including picture in picture mode, portrait mode and manual mode for the front and the back. In terms of the outputs, this is where the Nokia 5.1 Plus actually gives you exactly what you pay for. It is a respectable camera for its price but don't expect the same quality of pricier budget phones like Huawei Y9 2019 and the Techno Camon 11 Pro. Where I think the camera does better is with exposure levels and I like the fact that you can edit the bokeh intensity after taking the photo. It can record videos in 1080p and also shoots slow-mo. Also shoots slow-mo. The 12 nanometer Helio P60 processor is still a somewhat underrated mid-range chipset and I'm not sure why. It is impressive how cool this CPU ran my everyday apps that I threw at it. You also get a slightly higher clock speed of 2.0GHz on the Chinese variant. 
When it comes to games like PUBG, Mali G72 GPU runs noticeably smoother than its predecessor, the Mali G71, which ships with a much pricier Samsung A7 2018 that I reviewed. It also didn't get any hotter than usual during gaming. I uploaded a speed test versus the Samsung A7 2018, which I really think you should see. Also, let me know if you wish to see a separate gaming video on max settings in the comments. About battery life, I got an impressive 11 hours screen on time on this guy and for a 3060mAh battery no doubt. I was connected to Wi-Fi the whole time and you may get significantly less screen on time on 4G network. Be that as it may, this phone should get you through a full day of medium usage. There's no fast charging on here and it took about 2 hours and 12 minutes for a full charge. Now here is why you should buy the Nokia 5.1 Plus in 2019. Not only are you getting a nice feeling glass sandwich hardware at this price, but you're also getting the smoothest Android One software, a USB Type-C port, and a 12 nanometer processor that handles apps like a champ. That being said, it may not be ideal for people with very large hands who are used to plus-sized phones as they may find it a bit flimsy to handle, especially without a case. I for one am a fan of compact phones and I hope brands don't give up on mid-range phones with this form factor. The Nokia 5.1 Plus is priced at 47,000 Naira which converts to 130 US dollars for the 32 gigs variant and it's available on Jumia Nigeria. But there's a catch, what you get for that price is really the X5 with global ROM flashed onto it and it doesn't support MTM 4G or Glow 4G bands. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to check out my current giveaway. Please subscribe to support my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.